be prepared for a rough ride so it's not going to be an easy journey tell us about your fitness goals how important it is to be fit and uh, also fit in terms of physical and mental health to build a meaningful business it takes a decade they say entrepreneurship is not for the faint of heart because it takes grit determination and a willingness to fail but do you guys also know that last year close to 5 million new businesses were registered so why do people actually run behind becoming an entrepreneur what does it actually take to be an entrepreneur is it just determination and hard work or is there anything else to it that's what we are going to see today in this episode it's me and yuvraj who is the founder of tot logic a london based cloud solutions provider that specializes in zoho software guess what yuvraj was a software engineer in corporate for almost 10 years before he decided to start his new avatar thanks for joining today uh, i'm going to start with this question uh, you have spent around 10 years in your uh, corporate life and then moved on to start your own business um, so what was the thought behind that thanks sir i started my career in uh, uh, corporate so i started uh, in a junior roles so i was uh, into uh, you know technical testing i started as a you know automation and performance tester for uh, the bigger companies i used to i started in you know telecom domain and uh, i progressed into uh, you know uh, quite senior roles and i started working in full stack i got opportunity to work on uh, pre sales uh, side and also i have progressed into uh, people management role as well so and uh, also i have gained experience managing projects fortunately i got an opportunity to travel to uk for an on site assignment and i always had a uh, passion for uh, entrepreneurship i was always wanted to you know uh, create jobs in tier 2 and tier 3 cities i was interested in enabling the rural youth i quite uh, closely follow uh, the tech leaders to draw my inspiration i wanted uh, to operate uh, autonomously and make my own decisions uh, down the line so in 2019 i had to bite the bullet and start my on a uh, company so initially i was self employed and uh, i was working as a contractor with smbs delivering them uh, the websites and also uh, custom mobile applications so that's how my uh, journey into entrepreneurship started great so let's talk about your firm um, tell us about thought logic i started my entrepreneurship uh, back in 2019 as a uh, self employed uh, you know uh, IT consultant. So at that time, uh, the business is called uh, Basic and Beyond Technology Solutions. We were focusing on, uh, you know, web development and uh, custom mobile app development. And you know, uh, like while I was working with uh, SMBs, uh, like uh, 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 I had customer requirements that you know they need uh, support on customizing. and uh, you know automating their zoho applications fortunately they were using zoho and also like uh, uh, i was aware about uh, you know zoho as a company i have been following it for quite some time and also you know i know uh, uh, zoho crm a little bit that's all i know uh, back then and uh, i follow uh, sridhar vembu uh, quite closely and uh, he is you know is uh, is uh, he's my inspiration one of the you know uh, top in, in influencers and uh yeah so uh, like w- with uh, the customer request i had for uh, you know uh, zoho uh, uh, customization and automation like you know i started learning more about uh, zoho products and since i am from uh, tech background the first product which drew my attention was uh, zoho creator and uh, you know i started uh, uh attending training programs and certifications and the more i learned about the product i got more fascinated and i uh, you know uh, the product pulled me deep into it uh, you know with its capabilities and you know uh, then you know we uh, uh, we gained expertise in uh, deluge integrations and uh, you know other uh, process automation capabilities whatever comes with uh, zoho creator and that uh, enabled uh, as a platform for us to uh, integrate different zoho applications and also you know uh, then we started Uh, enrolling for uh, uh, the training and certification program for other products like uh, you know zoho crm zoho desk and also zoho analytics and uh, uh, zoho hrms applications 
yeah and uh, yeah initially uh, it was me and uh, i had uh, my, you know couple of freelancers who were supporting uh, my additional work then uh, uh, yeah, then uh, like we wanted uh, to be conscious about our expenses as well. So increasingly we started, uh, you know, receiving customer requests for uh, Zoho applications. And 2021 is a pivotal point where, uh, you know, I have decided that uh, the direction should be, you know, SaaS uh, product implementation. And that too, we should focus on, uh, you know, Zoho applications as I learned more about uh, Zoho products. Then uh, like we started as a creator only partner and uh, we worked on uh, uh, like uh, interesting uh, projects from the start uh, and uh, yeah then we started uh, hiring developers uh, offshore and uh, started you know uh, uh, training them in uh, uh, zoho creator so uh, currently we are a team of 9 with uh, a team of 6 developers who are you know trained and uh, uh, you know uh, like uh, certified in uh, zoho creator are you doing only zoho or do you offer any other products to your customers currently it is uh, you know zoho uh, only mm -hmm. and uh, that will be our focus at least for you know the near future but you know our vision is actually we wanted to be a uh, technology uh, a neutral partner for the customers we want to be in a position where we need to analyze customer requirements and suggest you know right suite for them but currently it is you know zoho and uh, uh, you know the inspiration for you know Zoho Consulting is not only uh, uh, not just uh, Sridhar Bembu, as I mentioned in uh, the earlier conversation, right? So, fortunately, I started learning uh, Zoho Creator, and you know there, uh, uh, like uh, with Zoho Creator learning and also like uh, uh, you know getting uh, training and uh, certification in other products, or like uh, has uh, given us opportunity to understand the product uh, depth of uh, Zoho and also technology depth of uh, Zoho. The technology depth in Zoho is in par with, uh, you know, uh, the other uh, top tech companies out there. I think that is uh, what actually key motivating factor for us to, you know, uh, uh, focus on uh, Zoho practice. Mm -hmm. And also uh, Zoho uh, is a real value uh, solution for the customers as well. And, uh, you know, even we wanted to focus on uh, small, medium businesses, right? And uh, focusing on small, medium business, uh, you know, uh, and uh, comprehensive suit, not many uh, product vendors out there. So it does, you know, we can uh, probably, we can, uh, the a number of vendors who offers a comprehensive suite of products. So we did a research before, you know, uh, diving into uh, Zoho only. And uh, that's why, you know, uh, we, uh, we have, chosen uh, Zoho in the first place. Mm -hmm. So do you know about Zoho Creator before getting or becoming a partner? Yeah, I knew uh, like Zoho Creator uh, before uh, becoming a partner. How do you know Zoho Creator? Is it because of the low-code platform? Do you had a prior experience with the platform, low-code tool as such? Uh, no, I did not have a prior experience with uh, Zoho Creator, but uh, actually, you know, uh, while I was working with uh, other businesses, a small uh, existing client of mine, so the, they were using Zoho, and uh, you know they were uh, uh, like using Zoho Creator for uh, the smaller requirements, not extensively. So I got an exposure. Then later, uh, like when I understood the depth of Zoho products, so I uh, like uh, you know I was actually doing a research myself that which is the first uh, product that I should focus on to learn more about Zoho. So that's where I found out that is my actually first exposure to low code uh, as such. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and uh, the first point, uh, you know, uh, like you build an application in a single platform, you build an application for web and it is readily available uh, for different channels as well. The application is available on the mobile and also it is available on the iPad and also it is available on different operating system and also like the integration capabilities, right? The more um, uh, like uh, features I got exposed, I got more interested in uh, Zoho Creator. Got it. So I'm also assuming that this is because you had a prior developing experience, you decided to go with Loco because it almost saved most of your time running behind different things. Yeah. Everything is available on the Loco platform. Is that what 
actually made you to like this platform? Yeah, exactly. So, you know, if uh, uh, in the traditional development approach, right, so you have to you know, choose a technology stack and you have to, you know, build the front end separately, middleware, back end. So there are a lot of moving parts. But with a uh, uh, low code solution like Creator, you just, you know, uh, focus on the business logic and you just write lesser code. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's for, uh, you know, simpler applications. But also, you know, uh, if you want to build advanced application, we have uh, capabilities within Creator. So, for example, you can extend the capabilities of Creator. If you have a specific UI requirements, you can add, uh, you know, uh, bring in JavaScript widgets to, you know, give better user experience. And also, uh, you know, you can uh, bring in other programming languages if you are good at. So, you can, uh, you know, uh, write the scripts in Java, or you know, you can use uh, Node.js if you want. But the integration, to be honest, it's mainly you know, uh, creators' integration capability, uh, which stands out. I just wanted to know your perspective on um, this particular myth. I mean, uh, most of the people still assume that low code is just a toy. Uh, what is your thought on this after being using both the ends? Initially, uh, when uh, we started uh, learning uh, Zoho Creator, right? So, uh, uh, and even cus customers' perception, right? So they think it is just drag and drop uh, application builder, and you know we can uh, automate uh, a certain process, but it's not it. So you know it is very powerful. So, you know, you have uh, process automation, uh, you have integration capabilities. So you can, you know, if you're using other Zoho applications like, you know, Zoho CRM or Zoho Books or Zoho Projects. So if you feel limitations, if you find uh, limitations in any of the products, right, then Creator uh, is there to, you know, fulfill that limitation. And also as a standalone product, Zoho Creator is very powerful. So in fact, like uh, we have, uh, built uh, integrated uh, suite of uh, applications for uh, customers uh, on Zoho Creator. So, and also like we are, uh, you know, currently working on building, you know, uh, you know uh, bespoke ERP solutions on Creator itself. And, you know, to build advanced applications, uh, definitely, you know, uh, the a developer needs to have, you know, mastery of uh, you know, programming language and also uh, the, you know, developer needs to know uh, the data modeling as well. It's it's not the fact that uh, you know business user can develop advanced application because you know if you want to have custom uh, UI, you know, uh, uh, out of the box uh, reports doesn't fulfill the requirements. So there you need to uh, you know have web development skills as well. You know you need to use HTML and CSS uh, to build a, uh, you know uh, custom pages to you know, to uh, present the data in a presentable way. And also, you know, if you feel uh, the out of the box form is limiting, then, you know, you need to, uh, you know, you need to build JavaScript widget. So for that, you need to know uh, JavaScript APIs and also you need to know uh, like JavaScript, CSS, HTML as well. And you need to be good with uh, uh, the APIs as well to do the integrations. Yeah, even for uh, the developers, uh, you know, uh, like, it is it is a very uh, good uh, playground and uh, it, creator is not limiting in any sense uh, opportunities for developer is huge with creator as well we uh, we can create amazing applications with uh, creator great so uh, since you have started talking about the solutions that are that are built on creator let's get more deep into that how many solutions have you built so far on zoho creator so we have built you know uh, like Closer to, uh, if we say client implementations, uh, we have done closer to 10 or 11 implementations. Um, uh, every implementation will have multiple applications uh, built into it. It's not a single application. So, for example, one of our top clients has, uh, you know, uh, six uh, integrated applications built into uh, Zoho Creator. Any complicated or most challenging solution that you have built on local? Yeah, of course, yes. So Could you please tell about. We have a client who is a, a like a healthcare membership organization in the UK, and uh, they were using uh, Access Database to manage their operations, and they were developing uh, the Access Database application for uh, over ten years, and uh, they had. Uh, uh, various functionalities uh, built into it. Uh, so they had the flavors of CRM to manage uh, the companies and uh, contact information. And also uh, they had 
uh, committees and uh, activity management uh, built into the application. Then they had uh, event planning module, then uh, event registrations and uh, even participation management, everything in a single application. And also like they were managing the memberships and uh, billing and uh, invoicing integrated to Xero was an actually managed in uh, Access Database. And uh, you know, uh, we have successfully migrated that application into Zoho Creator in the period of uh, uh, three to four months. Uh, that is you know, uh, quite challenging because of uh, the complexity of uh, the relationships and also uh, you know, the volume of the data. Mm -hmm. So uh, they had the data uh, from uh, 1999. So it was a huge volume of data and in total they had 130 plus uh, uh, tables in access uh, database mm -hmm. and they had you know uh, many three degree relationships which is not easy to migrate and uh, you know so we had to create uh, 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 like very mindful uh, strategy and data model in order to replicate that application in Soho Creator and uh, we had to have a strategy in place to migrate the data into uh, uh, Zoho Creator. And in uh, Creator, we have successfully integrated with uh, Xero for uh, automating the invoice process. And also uh, we have uh, payment integrations as well. So, uh, uh, you know, it is a two-way integrations uh, between uh, Xero and uh, uh, Zoho Creator. Okay, let's talk more about the challenges, uh, Evraj. So tell us, as an entrepreneur, what is the most challenging thing in your, how do you handle that as well? Since I'm, you know, from a uh, tech background, right, uh, even though I had, uh, you know, uh, exp exposure to a bit of pre-sales activity and uh, a bit of, uh, you know, uh, people management activity, I did not have prior, uh, you know, sales and marketing experience. So, you know, starting, uh, you know, starting your own business requires you to wear uh, multiple hats, you know, uh, especially when you're uh, bootstrapped without any support from uh, the, you know, let's say if you don't have a partner, if you have to uh, do it yourself, right? So you have to, uh, you know, uh, you have to learn um, sales and marketing. It's, it's mainly, you know, uh, learn and implement. So yeah, I had to learn everything. I had to you know learn everything right from sales, marketing, website optimization, everything I had to uh, you know uh, taken taking care of. And uh, business is not only at least tech business is not only about uh, you know uh, product or service delivery. So you need to provide customer support as well. So uh, that also we you know we need to uh, ensure. And then you know to deliver the projects, you need to have resources uh, within the team. So initially, recruitment was also challenging because of uh, you know we are a startup and uh, you know we did not have at least to recruit the first member, right? So we did not have existing team. We also had uh, you know candidates who didn't join us after getting the offer. So you know getting uh, the initial uh, employee was also challenging. Okay. Uh what are the challenges that you face today? I mean, are you still facing these challenges or is it a new set of challenges? There are cha challenges today as well. At least right now, we have uh, started out our uh, delivery. So we have a team which has highly functional and technical expertise, mm -hmm. which can deliver, uh, you know, uh, like complex projects as well. So uh, right now, you know, our focus is actually uh, sales and marketing where we need to improve and also recruitment. So we want to attract uh, top talents in order to uh, innovate and deliver, uh, you know, uh, innovative solutions to our customers. Okay, great. Uh, so this leads to another question, which was asked by one of our uh, team members. Tell us about your hiring strategy as a startup, and you also mentioned that you are still a bootstrapped uh, company. So how do you do this talent hunting? Did you look for people who are from the higher tier one tier two uh, uh, colleges or do you go for the talent based uh, hiring our interview process is straightforward so we have you know uh, technical interview mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you know during the technical interview so we try to understand their exposure to technologies and you know uh, we uh, uh, try to see if they have prior experience in zoho if they have it's well and good mm -hmm. uh, if not you know we uh, we evaluate how they approach uh, newer learning so what we look for uh, look for is actually we look for uh, you know uh, 
their hunger to learn new technologies right so it's mainly interpersonal skills so being as a uh, like our technology consulting companies we uh, look for uh, you know candidates who uh, can also be involved in uh, pre sales roles so you know uh, we i want my team to be you know involved in customer demos so we look for you know communication as well okay great uh, so let's talk about your uh, finances as well if you are okay with that you you were saying that you're a bootstrap company so how do you manage finances and what is your piece of advice that you would like to give for budding entrepreneurs in terms of financial management uh, yeah we, we are bootstrapped yeah and um, you know if you ask me if uh, we are uh, profitable i would say uh, you know uh, yes but like even today uh, if i'm in a job i would be well paid but still you know i see it as an investment so even though you know i have taken a cut uh, in my pay but i see it as an investment yeah. right and uh, yeah we are actually getting there uh, we we are uh, getting there and uh, we uh, don't uh, you know uh, we we are very cautious about our spendings so we don't do any uh, paid ads uh, so far and also like uh, we hire only you know uh, uh, people when it is really required so uh, we don't uh, you know just add the bandwidth uh, for the future right so uh, like uh, we evaluate our uh, you know uh, pipeline and based on that we do uh, hiring so mainly yeah uh, so we uh, we are mindful about our expenses and also like uh, we are mindful about our uh, investments great i like the word mindful so i'm just going to dig over there whereas i saw your linkedin post about your uh, fitness uh could you please take us through that uh, you just shared a photo of you being in 2013 with eight or six packs yeah so about uh, you know six packs great so tell us about your fitness goals uh, uh, because why do i ask this is you also mentioned that it is very important to uh, be fit despite of being an entrepreneur you will have to run around you have you might not get a bit of time to do focus on your fitness but how important it is to be fit and uh, also fit in terms of physical and mental health right from my school days i was more into sports rather than studies i would say mm-hmm. so uh, like i was always fit i was and i, I was uh, like i started exercising when i was in uh, 10th standard did you compete that six pack was because of some I was not into bodybuilding so okay. it's more about uh, you know fitness and uh, you know i was more uh, like so there are different body types right so i was like uh, more aligned towards you know uh, body type of a fitness model rather than a bodybuilder during my school and uh, uh, university it, it is more about uh, sports and after my uh, university i got you know into uh, lifting weights and uh, you know gaining muscle yeah and uh, yeah uh, so during my early 20s i was more into uh, fitness i was like uh, taking it very religiously mm-hmm. and uh, uh, yeah i was able to uh, build a uh, you know uh, i would say uh, good physic mm-hmm. and you know it's not only about uh, muscle and uh, fitness so actually it uh, helped me in terms of uh, you know improving my focus mm-hmm. uh, say so at that point of time i was uh, i was uh, you know i was employed but you know i was able to focus on my work and also like you know i was able to make uh, the right decisions as well and uh, today uh, you know uh with uh, in- increased responsibility whether it is personal responsibilities or whether it is uh, you know uh, business responsibilities right so uh, you have limited time because you know i have to wear uh, multiple hats uh, doing multiple things so uh, you know i lost a track of uh, you know fitness little bit but uh, i'm again started focusing on fitness because you know uh, uh, like exercising will help you to you know uh, have a clearer mental focus so you can make better decisions and also uh, you know running a business is not easy task so uh, like uh, you will be uh, stressed most of the time so exercising helps you reduce your stress level so it actually you know generates uh, endorphins which helps you manage the stress uh, let's say if i start my day with uh, uh, with uh, half an hour or 45 minutes of exercise i'll have more energy and uh, you know i'll be more productive throughout the day and uh, not only that being in the tech industry so you want to be innovative and creative right so even you know if uh, you take a small walk 30 minutes so it will uh, it will you know uh, uh, give you uh, you know fresh ideas and uh, you can think innovative solutions great 
looking forward to see you back in your six packs by end of this year or what is the plan yeah probably so you know uh, uh, since i like you know i was able to do it once i think i would able to repeat it sure so yeah. there know, is and, something called muscle memory so obviously your muscles will remember you having it yeah so and uh, you know having a uh, you know, good physique or six pack is more about taking care of your diet so i'm focusing uh, towards my diet currently so yeah great there is a couple of questions from our audience uh, i would like to ask you those questions as well so first one is tell us about your uh, perspective on indian work culture a corporate culture versus uk's corporate culture so how do you see the difference because you have been there on both the ends let's start with uh, uh, you know let's say work life balance which is very important right so uh, you know in uh, uh, you know indian corporate culture so what uh, uh, generally what we notice is actually the boundary uh, of uh, you know uh, uh, your personal life and your work life is thin and uh, most of the times you know uh, like there is no uh, you know there is no margin between your work life and uh, your personal life so you carry work to your home and you know uh, with uh, technology so you work everywhere even though you are at home you'll be working right and uh, uh also there is expectation i see some sort of expectation within uh, the indian management that employee should be dedicated to the work right and in uk the work life balance is there like you know they uh, uh, draw clear boundaries between work and the personal life uh, you know the employees doesn't carry a work uh, to uh, their home so you know it, if it is a 9 to 5 job and that's it so after 5 you know they will uh, they will take care of their social activities and uh, their personal life yeah so the work life balance is there and that's the first bit and uh, organization wise i think it is the organization structure is almost similar uh, you know initially you know we used to have more you know structured hierarchy in uh, indian corporate uh, organizations but now it is flattening out but in uk it is more flatter organization the decision are, decisions are made at you know uh, the team level or you know individual uh, level so that is a key uh, difference i would say the work environment wise you know uh, uh, uk uh, work environment is more relaxed and of course it depends on the industry you work with so if you are in you know creative industry or if you are in a, contemporary industry right so a atmosphere is more relaxed and even right from you know your dress code it is more relaxed but in uh, most of the indian corporate companies it's more about uh, you know uh, we still have uh, the formal uh, formal business at air here so yeah and apart uh, from that if we look at uh, uh, you know business meetings let's say so in uh, in indian culture so we have uh, you know uh, the business meetings will start with more about the personal uh, getting to know the persons uh, uh, like uh, like from their personal aspects and also some small talk uh, to you know break the ice uh, but in uk business settings it's more about uh, you know uh, to the point direct business conversations and uh, it's very it's uh, it's very open uh, conversations there even though there is a bit of small talk uh, they you know it, it's more straight to the point conversations great so uh, you you started off with saying that work life is much better work life balance is much more <laughs> uh, better there and so i i would like to know whether have you started implementing any i mean have you have you thought about bringing in that work life balance into your team which has been remote working from india have you have you inculcated that those thoughts into them have you started doing because i i wanted to uh, i uh, started off this question because you know zeroda right nitin kamath says that the entire organization will not use the mobile phone after 6 pm yeah they put it off uh, because he is a fitness enthusiast and he wants his team to be in the same line so have you thought about that have you gotten those changes into your team yeah so i know uh, so it's a difficult uh, you know uh, question especially for a startup uh, right so Got it. and uh, uh, yeah so i mean if there are any plans to do that is also fine i'm just asking you have you 
started doing it because since it's a startup as well if they start doing it at a very early stage they might get to this uh, most of the indians take pride in working late yeah. they think that if they work late is when they they will get all the uh, you know whatever they deserve to be so if started early they might also start understanding that there has to be a gap between their work and their personal life so that's the question uh, moving on the next question that i got was i wanted to understand uh, this sivraj being an entrepreneur it's not going to be gloomy as always it's going to be a tough ride you are going to face a lot of challenges in your life where you would have thought that why do i even as i say even you mentioned that you would have got more a better pay uh, if you are being worked in a corporate compared to now but what actually keeps you going what is that one thing that you always look forward to work in this firm yeah that, that's true so you know uh, uh, fortunately since we are into tech business and uh, uh, we are working with uh, small medium businesses right and uh, you know we uh, you know uh, we can see uh, the transformative opportunities or solutions we provide to customers and the benefit they get out of the solutions we deliver to them right and uh, that is quite exciting to be honest and uh, keeps us motivated and also you know you get the satisfaction of you know delivering an innovative solution to the client and when you see the benefits they uh, get uh, to streamline their business operations right that actually drives you to you know invest more into uh more into the business you know uh, providing better solution better and innovative solutions to the clients got it got it okay so what is your one piece of advice that you would love to give for someone who is aspiring to be an entrepreneur who wants to start a business in today's competitive world be prepared for a rough ride so it's not going to be uh, you know easy um, uh, easy journey so you know there will be a lot of challenges so you know in order to be successful uh, like you have to be persistent so uh, be prepared for a, a long term game so you know at least to uh, build a meaningful business it takes a decade it's not uh, if you're in for overnight success then entrepreneurship is not something for you instant gratification is no more a thing yeah. in business right yeah. great nice talking to you raj it was a great time i had a lot of learnings over there i hope you enjoyed as well thank you so much for joining us to you sure. 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 Sure.